Well, the investigation into a Colorado Springs man accused of sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl took a shocking turn today. Police now think Anthony Martinez may have had contact with more than 140 underage girls, including at least 30 in the Springs area. Detectives think he was contacting girls on social media in at least six states, including Colorado. Investigators say there could be more victims. If you know someone or anyone who had contact with Martinez, call Springs Police at 444-7000. Colorado Springs police stay busy all year uncovering online predators. Yeah, they say at least one kid a day in the city is contacted through the internet. And to keep your children safe, Cardio News Channel 13's Angelica Lombardi joins us live with some advice for parents and caregivers. Heather and James, when it comes to cyber safety, well, investigators say there's no sure way to protect your kids, but there are things you can do to head off predators. This day and age, it can be hard to tell who's behind the keyboard, giving predators an advantage to finding children. Predators out there, uh, people actively looking for children to meet and molest. Officer Richard Hunt has spent the last 17 years with the CSPD's Internet Crimes Against Children Unit. Actively portrayed a child online for about six years, and uh, all the predators that came out, at least three of the predators would have killed the child they were coming to meet. He says the dangers increase with the amount of social media sites and platforms that exist, making it hard for parents to keep watch. I just think it's too easy. My son has a cell phone, and he could pretty much look up anything he wants. Parents of five, Daniel and Nicole Ferrardo, have their hands full when it comes to monitoring online access. Give just a few websites that they can go to and monitor it. Officer Hunt suggests doing more than monitoring. It's a good idea to sit down with your kids to come up with these rules and have the kids participate in it. That way they're more likely to follow the rules. And he says there are some important signs that could signal a problem. Look for a sign that the child has got to be online all the time and is absolutely obsessive about this computer. Uh, look for secretive stuff, uh, for them hiding screens when they get on, uh, being very secretive and whatnot. And Officer Hunt says he's worked with predators of all ages, ranging from 18 to 70, and it happens at all times of the year. Summer is no exception. They say they stay just as busy during the school year. Reporting live, Angelica Lombardi, Cardio News Channel 13. Thanks, Angelica. And something every parent needs to know, how to keep your child safe from Internet predators. We have posted those tips on Cardio.com. You'll find a link under the hot button.